Tumult Hype is the award-winning HTML5 animation builder for OS X. Hype has been used for all kinds of different projects, like infographics, portfolios, global exploration roadmaps, children's books, mobile ads, greeting cards, and much, much more. Our new update, Hype 1.6, is face-meltingly powerful. It contains 35 new features and includes several bug fixes and performance improvements. Let's explore the top 20 new features in Hype 1.6. Number 1. CSS Filter Effects Hype now supports applying CSS3 filter effects. Modify elements with blur, sepia, saturation, hue shift, brightness, and contrast effects. All filter effects can be animated to make visually compelling documents. Please note, filter effects are a bleeding edge web feature and are currently only supported by Safari 6, Safari and iBooks on iOS 6, and Chrome 18 or later. Number two, layout guides. Guidelines can now be created to reflect multi-column or multi-row grid-based layouts. Either the number of columns or the number of pixels between the columns can be specified. Number three, Capo Tool. The Capo Tool pairs with recording to help build animations more quickly. While recording, Hype creates animations that start from the capo's position. Control dragging, or control in using the keyboard modifiers, maintains the distance between the capo and the playhead. Number four, relative and absolute keyframes. Relative keyframes are a way to achieve unique interactive effects without any code. The first keyframe on the timeline represents the current value for the animated property during playback. In Hype 1.6, to make relative keyframes more distinct from the typical absolute keyframes, we've changed the visual style, and if there's the potential for an animation, Hype shows a lightly colored bar. In Hype 1.5 and earlier, timelines always began with relative keyframes. In Hype 1.6, however, new timelines use absolute keyframes by default. This setting can be changed when creating a timeline, or at any time in the scene inspector. This makes common cases like looping timelines significantly easier. Number five, timeline actions. By choosing show timeline actions in the view menu, a track on the timeline is displayed, which allows actions to be added that are triggered when that point in time is played. For example, to loop an animation, create a rotation over 360 degrees, use a linear timing function, and then add a timeline action to start over the timeline. Number six, new actions. Hype 1.6 adds the ability to pause and continue timeline playback, and to go to a time on a specified timeline. These actions unlock entirely new ways of producing animations. Number 7. Action Chaining Actions can now be chained together, making it even easier to create complex animation flows without writing any code. For example, we can run a JavaScript after pausing a timeline. Now, when the button is clicked, it'll pause the timeline and run the JavaScript. Number eight, HTML head editing. It's easy to include scripts or styles in the head by going to the document inspector and clicking edit head HTML. To add a font from the Google font directory, we can copy and paste the code provided from Google into this area. Then, when making a text element, the inner HTML can be edited by appending a span which uses the font. By editing the head, you'll be able to preview closer to the final state of your document. The custom head is also included in the exported HTML. Number nine, resource library. The resource library is the one-stop shop for all images, videos, functions, or other files that you would like to include in your exported resources folder. Resources can be replaced across the entire document, like swapping this soccer ball with a football. Notice that this change affected all of the document scenes. By control clicking on an image, you can select Reveal in Resource Library. There are a few options available, such as the ability to disable preloading of the image, which may be appropriate in some cases to speed up the initial document load time. Another use of the resource library is to add JavaScripts or other resources that you would like to access inside the document. 
A common use for this would be to add jQuery. By default, include in document head is checked for all JavaScript and CSS files, and their inclusion is reflected in the document head. Now jQuery can be used from other scripts within your document and works while previewing. Here, we'll add some jQuery code, which hides the element when the button is clicked. And we can see this in action. Number 10, Retina App Artwork. Hype's interface has been polished to look gorgeous on the new Retina MacBook Pros. Number 11, Sandboxed. Hype has been sandboxed to comply with Apple's new security requirements. Sandboxing has forced some changes to be aware of. First, the exported resources folder suffix has been changed from an underscore resources with a capital R to a period resources with a lowercase r. Next, the document preview URL is different. Previews are now delivered from a web server running within Hype. The server is secured to only serve previews to the same computer running Hype. Finally, old resources in your document may no longer be connected to their original files, so Hype won't ask to update when those files change. Resources can be reconnected by clicking the Update button in the resource library and finding the original file. Number 12, Browser Compatibility Updates. The Browser Compatibility Warning Settings interface now uses pop-up menus that let you choose a browser's minimum version for which warning should be shown. The menus also now offer a latest option, which tells Hype to only ever warn about the most recent version of that browser. Compatibility warnings have also been added for iBooks 3, Internet Explorer 10, and all of the other latest browsers. Number 13, JavaScript Editing Improvements. Hype now provides an in-app documentation viewer for JavaScript and HTML head editing. The built-in JavaScript editor now offers a fine panel and supports shifting text to the left and right. Number 14, new JavaScript APIs. Hype 1.6 introduces many new JavaScript APIs, such as pause, continue, and go to time and timeline named, which correspond to Hype 1.6's new actions. Functions, which returns a list of the document's JavaScript functions, and resources folder URL, which is useful for accessing items in the document's resource library. On a similar note, the resources folder name substitution variable can be used in the document's head and in an element's inner HTML to access resources. When using the on any timeline complete action, you can now call event.timelineName to conditionalize behavior based on which timeline just finished playing. External scripts can now register for callbacks on Hype events. For example, if the code needs to be run after the document has been loaded, you can listen for the Hype Document Load notification. The Hype Document object will be passed in. Number 15, Hype.js Size Reduction. With all of the new features in Hype 1.6, it would be expected that the Hype.js runtime file would grow. For this release, however, we tolerated no expansion in size, and Hype.js weighs in at just 38 kilobytes making it 279 bytes smaller than in version 1.5.2. For mobile uses or ads, this is extremely important. Number 16, Internet Explorer 3D Support. Internet Explorer 10 now supports CSS 3D transformations, and Hype 1.6 takes advantage of this. Number 17, iOS Fonts. The Fonts panel offers a wider selection for iOS devices, and the results look great. Number 18, iBooks Author Thumbnails. The thumbnail image for an iBooks Author widget is now taken from the playhead's position on the current scene at the time of export. Number 19, Animation Copy and Paste Improvements. Copying and then pasting an animation now pastes next to the original animation instead of pasting on top of the original animation. Notice that Hype stacked the pasted keyframes. This represents an instant transition between the two animations. Number 20, Element Editing Enhancements. In the Scene Editor, command dragging the selection handle now rotates the element around the z-axis. When multiple elements are selected, they now all resize proportionally to one another. And that's the overview of what's new in Tumult Hype 1.6. We're incredibly proud of this release, and think you'll love it. If you have already purchased Hype, Hype 1.6 is a free upgrade. If you previously tried Hype, the Hype 1.6 trial is reset so you can try again. And if you haven't yet tried Hype, you're missing out. Learn more by visiting our website at tumult.com hype.
Thank you for watching.